Hello friends, this video on solutions part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So as I told, non-ideal solution, solution does not obey Raoult's law over entire range of concentration. Please note over entire range of concentration is a critical uh, sentence, don't miss that. Solution that does not obey Raoult's law over entire range of concentration is non-ideal solution. So in this case, the vapor pressure of these kind of solutions is either higher or lower than the predicted value, right? So if you see, the green one is a predicted value. We have seen this predicted value, the green one. And the blue one is the actual value, actual experimental value. Right? So if you see, the pressure total is expected to be in the green line in this fashion. But in some case, some case, if you see, the pressure is more than the expected value. In some case, the pressure that is calculated experimentally is less than the expected value. So the experimental value of the total pressure is sometimes more than theoretical value and sometimes less than theoretical value. So if the experimental value of the vapor pressure is more than the theoretical value, then it shows positive deviation in this case left hand side. If the experimental value is less than the uh, theoretical value, then it shows negative deviation. We'll talk about this. Right? So the question is why it shows negative and positive deviation. We'll, we'll talk about this. Just understand that in some case, in most of the case, the, the theoretical value is not what you get when you do experiment. Right? The theoretical value is, uh, the experimental value is something sometimes more than the theoretical value, sometimes less than the theoretical value. When you talk about total pressure, when you talk about the partial pressure, right, partial pressure of 1, partial pressure of 2, if you see in both cases, the experimental value is more than theoretical value. Here, the partial pressure of 1, the experimental value is less than theoretical value, partial pressure of 2, experimental value is less than theoretical value, and the total part, the total pressure is also less than the theoretical value. So the left hand side is the example of positive deviation and the next right hand side is the example of negative deviation, right? Now the question is why there is a deviation, why there is a deviation, why there is a positive deviation or why there is a negative deviation. Let's understand this, why there is a positive deviation first and then we'll understand why there is a negative deviation. So the answer to this lies in the nature of interaction at molecular level. You see the molecular level, the answer is in the nature of interaction at molecular level. Correct. I have told you in case of ideal solution, if it is A, it is B, and this is this is AB component which I am getting. Right? In case of ideal solution, the force of attraction between A B A A and B sorry A B A A and B A all same. Right? The force of attraction is all same. The example I told you was um, benzene and toluene because they look similar. But in case of the positive deviation, you will see that the substance which deviates a lot from uh, Rolls law. The AB interaction is weaker. The AB interaction, this interaction is weaker. Since this interaction is weaker, right, the molecules of A and molecules of B find it easy to escape out. Because, see, just understand that they are showing a positive deviation. That means the more pressure is more here as expected. Pressure is more, that means they can easily escape out the molecules of A and B. And when can the molecules of A and B easily escape out? When the force of attraction between A and B is weak. Hope you understand. In case of positive deviation, the pressure is more here. The pressure is more, that means the molecules of A and B is more here. The molecules of A and B is more in the vapor phase. Vapor phase. That means the molecules of A and B can easily uh, escape from the liquid phase to vapor phase and that is only possible if the force of attraction between A and B is V. Correct? Because if A and B are not held together tightly, if A and B are held together tightly, A will not allow B to come, B will not allow A to come. Both of them will 
stay in the solution only and the vapor pressure will down but if a and b are not held tightly they have don't have good chemistry between them both of them will escape correct pretty easy positive division a and b the force of attraction is weaker and thus a and b will be will find it easier to escape out in the solution correct and with this this will increase the vapor pressure of solution than expected value and thus it will show positive division correct example is the mixture of ethanol and acetone so you take ethanol and acetone if you take normal ethanol it has a hydrogen bonding right hydrogen bonding is there so if you assume this is a and this is b so a a bond is very very strong correct b b bonding is also pretty good but the moment you mix a and b what will happen is the ethanol ethanol molecule the bond will break because this acetone will come between these bonds and this hydrogen bond will break so it will make this bond weak right the ab bond will become weaker correct so in pure ethanol the molecules are high the molecules are hydrogen bonded the moment you add acetone the acetone molecule will get into this in between this ethanol molecule and will break most of the hydrogen bonds and due to this the interaction will weaken and thus the solution will show a positive division another example is carbon disulfide carbon disulfide in acetone the same thing acetone so here also it will have some hydrogen bond but the moment you add acetone the attraction will be less and this ab attraction will become very weak and they will escape out the negative division again opposite to the positive as i showed in ideal case if this is a this is b this is attraction between a and b so this is a and this is b so attraction between a a a b and b b all are same in ideal case in case of negative division what will happen is this becomes very strong this becomes very strong the attraction between a and b becomes very strong right and thus neither a will allow b to go out and nor b will allow a to go out from this liquid phase so in the in the vapor phase we'll have very less number of a and b correct because the a and b attraction is very strong here very strong attraction a and b attraction is very very strong so a and b attraction is very strong so in this case if the attraction is very very strong a and b both will held tightly and a and b will not be able to come to vapor phase so easily right and thus the pressure will go down correct right? the example is phenol and aniline the moment you mix phenol and aniline they have very this is a and this is b let's suppose they have very strong hydrogen bond between them then you see phenol and aniline they are bonded very strongly the oxygen has slightly negative charge and slightly positive charge nitrogen is slightly negative slightly positive negative negative and positive charge will have a good hydrogen bond right the phenolic proton and the lone pair of nitrogen atom of aniline is strong then the respective intramolecular hydrogen bond between similar molecules for example if you take aniline and if you take a phenol the force of attraction between a phenol I mean two phenol molecules if you take they won't have much force of attraction that is not that strong not strong but this is very strong so this av force of attraction is very strong and thus the phenol will not allow aniline to go out of the liquid phase aniline will not allow phenol to go out of the liquid phase right the next example is the chloroform in acetone you have this acetone you have the chloroform the moment you mix this they have very strong force of attraction very strong hydrogen bond chloroform forms a very strong hydrogen bond with uh, uh, acetone and thus they will also go for a negative division chloroform if i have put, put chloroform and acetone here chloroform will not allow acetone to go out to vapor phase and acetone will not allow chloroform to go out to the vapor phase and thus the number of molecules in the vapor phase will be low since the number of molecules in the vapor phase will be low the expected the the actual vapor pressure that is calculated will be lower than the expected value and it will show a negative division
Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.